joined now by Jonathan Mernier. Jonathan, how are you? Fine, and you? Thanks. Hey, I'm doing very well. Thank you. And uh, right off the bat, congratulations on the deal. Uh, how long was this in the works, uh, you uh, negotiating with the UFC? Uh, like, uh, well, what, one year, about. Okay. And was this a surprise, you getting signed, or did you expect this to happen if there was an injury on the card? The injury, yeah, it, it was a good opportunity to enter my, more and more faster, but I, I think uh, it's the result of the of the record and the, the career I got in, in MMA. Great. And how many fights is on your contract? Uh, four fights. Was George St. Pierre a big influence on your career, being that he was French-Canadian and someone that has trained at TriStar as well? He says by patriotism, well, because he's also Canadian, obviously it's a, it's a good guy. He's proud of it. Great. Yeah, he's a, he's a great motivation for me, is for sure. Great. And uh, how do you think you match up against Colby Covington? Uh, I, I think we'll be good. It's the same kind of, of, um, of fighter I have fight. Uh, not the last fight, the fight before, like in Alberta, is a southpaw wrestler, and um, I, I think I think it's going to be the, the same the same result. Uh, who are some of your main uh, training partners at TriStar that you've been working with? Um, I train with with uh, Rory McDonald, with uh, Nordin Pale, with Alex Garcia, uh, with Joseph uh, Joseph Duffy. Uh, Francis Carmo uh, and uh, a lot of fighters. They, they have a, a lot of fighter training in TriStar Montreal. D- does it help uh, having uh, a training partner like Rory McDonald, who's also getting ready on this same card? Yeah, it's a good motivation too. I, I like training with with Rory McDonald. He's a, he's a complete and, and awesome fighter. He got a technical and he's he, he really really good. Yeah, and, and to fight on the same card, yeah, is for sure is a good beginning for me. And I fight on the same card, and uh, Olivier Aubin Mercy is a, is, a, is a good fighter too, and is is um, is from here too. How is uh, Rory McDonald looking uh, in his training camp in preparation for his opponent Stephen uh, Thompson? Uh, a good strategy. They they make a, they make a good strategy training, and do they work with, with uh, they, they work for for Thompson with with a character specialist uh, too. Great. And how's your weight? Uh, you know, this is you're taking this fight on a week's notice. Uh, is the weight cut going to be difficult for you? Uh, no, no. For me, it's not, it's not difficult to do the weight. I, I always walking like uh, around one eighty five. So it's normal. I, I never, I never uh, too too heavy to for for the cut weight. Okay. Are you someone that eats healthy year round, or do you have to just sort of eat really healthy during your fight camps? Uh, maybe I think I got a good genetic. I'll, I'm always walk, walking at the same weight, and uh, if I train a lot, I eat a lot, and never change. Great. Uh, just have a couple more questions here for you. Um, is uh, is there anyone on the UFC roster that you'd like to fight after this? I know you're not looking past your opponent, but uh, is there anyone that you have your eye on in the welterweight division? Uh, I don't. I don't think. I don't think um, after the, this fight. I just. I just focus on, on this fight, and after I'm gonna look maybe for a, another another fight. And but I think. I think when you reach UFC, you just need to fight with every, everybody. They, they want. Great. Uh, who is going to be in your corner for this fight? Uh, going to be in my corner, Firaz Sahabi with Northern Taleb, a good partner, a training partner, and uh, my, my coach from, from my, my town, Philip Dupont. Seeing as in how Ottawa is only about an hour and a half away from Montreal, um, are you expecting a lot of people to come out for this fight? Uh, yeah, so a lot of people are asking to me, uh, how they can go, and they, they are trying. Uh, lots of people want to go see him. They're looking to buy tickets, but it's almost sold out. It's not already sold out. Right. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, all right. Uh, how do you see this fight unfolding? Uh, what's your prediction for the fight? Do you see a finish? Uh, yeah, <laughs> for, for sure. The, the best thing is another knockout and to reach the, the, the 50 key bonus. And uh, <laughs> maybe if I if, if I can submit it, it's okay. But uh, I don't want to go in at the third round. Uh, I like finish before. And uh, my last question for you here: uh, 
where did you get the nickname District? Uh, District is from is from Amateur because it's the name of my my uh, my shop in Quebec, my my clothing shop. Great. Okay. Well, uh, Jonathan, I, I want to thank you so much for joining me here on the program. Uh, just remind people where they can find you on social media, and if you have any thank yous or shout outs, uh, the floor is yours. Oh, I, I got a lot of people to to thanks. Uh, all my trainers, my, my, my first training partners since the beginning, uh, with Ali Zuraki, all my stand-up partners there, and my, my partner, my partner from TriStory Quebec too, and now from Montreal, my new coach, uh, Piras Abbey since two years, and in, in the media social, you can follow me on the Instagram, on Team Quebec, uh, Team Meunier, and on Twitter too, same thing, Team Meunier.